<laughs> you don't know my grandma. Oh, good morning, good morning everybody. everybody. Happy whatever day it is today. <laughs> Happy whatever day it is. <laughs> Who knows, it's right? Hump day. I love when you say that. Hump day. The old way. Yeah, people love that still. Um, okay, so uh, this is all about parents today. So parents are going to enjoy oh, this. And I love it when Tiff gives parenting advice. Yeah, it's really not parenting advice. It's more about surprising um, ways. You know, it's not surprising, I should say, that parents say in terms that it's hard to get kids to eat healthy. Yeah. You know, like they're always complaining about the fact my kid won't eat this, my kid doesn't like that. Well, these are like lies that parents have told their kids to get them to eat healthy. <laughs> and I wondered if you ever had to do that. Did okay. you ever lie to them? Um, no, but I did sneak things in, like a can of pumpkin oh, okay. into spaghetti sauce, or like yeah. people do that like deceivingly. Like fifty-five percent of people do what they call stealthy health or stealth yes. health. Yes, like so sneak they sneak it in there. Yes, yeah, so there's like yeah. broccoli under cheese, or there's or spinach. spinach and brownies, yep. or like you said, what pumpkin and spaghetti yep, sauce. Pumpkin and spaghetti sauce. Um, I liked these. Twenty-two percent of parents told their kids that all meat was chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Hey, whatever. Yeah, whatever it takes. Even right? better, 21% told their kids that all vegetables were chicken nuggets. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit more of a stretch, getting them to buy that. Okay, what they really say in general is the best way to get your kids to eat healthy, this is their advice, not, not Tiffy's, is <laughs> that you should have them lend a hand in the kitchen. Yes. They say if you can get them involved in the kitchen, they're more likely to try it. I At least try. I think it's about exposure. People will give kids something once and they'll be like, oh, they don't like it. Yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta keep introducing it before they're gonna eat it or like it. And over I think and sometimes over. If, you, if you say this is healthy, this is really good for you, you're gonna grow big and strong or you're gonna have muscles, then maybe they'll eat it. Yeah, you're gonna get, you're gonna you're really gonna get huge muscles. muscles. Did you see Popeye? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true, that worked in the cartoons. Yeah. Okay, um, this is in a sleep de deprivation, specifically for women. They say uh, on average when someone is sleep deprived, they get hungrier, right? Mm -hmm. I think there's a cortisol Makes connection, sense. all those things, but they say women on average eat 500 to 800 more calories per day when they get less than eight hours of sleep. All in ice cream. <laughs> I'm a salty. I am not a sweet. Oh, so like chips. Mine's and, like chips yeah. and Pringles okay. and all those things. Yeah. Um, so what they say is if you're somebody who regularly doesn't get that much sleep, which most people are, they say what you can do is you can actually have the late night snacks that aren't bad for you that actually help you sleep. And aren't they things that usually have like a mix of like fiber, protein, fat, like you get your nutrients or yeah, something? Yeah, which would lead me to the two things that they suggest. They say if you're going to late night st snack, grab things like pistachios or a glass of red wine. Oh, really? Yeah. Just one though. Yeah, just yeah. one. Yeah. But they say those two things actually promote sleep. Okay. So if you're gonna eat late, you're gonna take in those extra calories, at least give yourself a little help sleeping. There you go. So I, like I that. thought that was a little suggestion for you. Yeah.